Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to show the radius of curvature for the given curve at any point is 2 into ax plus by whole power 3 by 2 by ab. Now, we are going to take the equation and rewrite it as root x by root a plus root y by root b equal to 1. So that the differentiation will become easier because this is a constant. Root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x and this root is a constant which is kept as it is. In the same way root y is 1 by 2 root y and this root b will be as it is but by chain rule the differentiation of y is dy by dx which is equal to 0 because the differentiation of 1 is 0. We take this term to the other side. So, the second term 1 by 2 root y root b into dy by dx is minus 1 by 2 root x root a. Now, this entire term will be multiplied with this minus 1. So, dy by dx is minus 2 root y root b whole divided by 2 root x root a. You can cancel this. Again, you can rewrite this and keep the constant separate. So, dy by dx is minus root b by root a and root y by root x. So, we got the dy by dx. Now, we have to find its second derivative. Here, we are going to use a product rule. So, when we write d square y by dx square, the constant minus root b by root a is kept separately. And here, the u is root y and v is root x. We are going to follow u by v method which is u dash v minus u v dash by v square. So, u dash is 1 by 2 root y into dy by dx. v is root x as it is minus u root y written as it is and v dash is 1 by 2 root x then whole divided by v square that is nothing but x. Now in this place we are going to substitute dy by dx which we got in the previous step. So we get the second derivative d square y by dx square is minus root b by root a bracket open 1 by 2 root y into minus root b by root a into root y by root x then this root x minus root y by 2 root x and whole divided by x. This is the denominator so I can write it here. Now we are going to write this as minus root b by x into root a. In this whole term, we find there is a 2 common in the denominator and there is a minus sign also common in the numerator. So, totally when the minus sign is taken out, it will become plus and 2 also we can take in the outside of the denominator. Then after taking it, we have these terms, we can cancel this root y and even this root x. So, after taking the minus and 2 outside, the remaining term is root b by root a and this will become plus because we are taking the minus in common. So, remaining is root y by root x. Now, we are going to take LCM. So, outside term root b by 2x root a LCM is root a root x 
So this will become root bx plus root ay. And in the question, we have root x by root a plus root y by root b equal to 1. When we take LCM, root a root b is LCM. So root bx plus root ay equal to 1. By cross multiplication, root bx plus root ay becomes root a root b. So, in the place of the numerator, I can substitute this as root a root b. So, finally, we have root b by 2x root a root a root b and this is root a root x. So, whatever possible, we can cancel and we got the second derivative till now as d square y by dx square which is root b to root b is b divided by 2 root a and x root x. So, both these things we are going to substitute in the radius of curvature formula. The radius of curvature rho is 1 plus dy by dx whole square then whole power 3 by 2 then d square y by dx square. So here 1 plus I have to substitute dy by dx whole square. So this is minus root b by root a into root y by root x. So we have to square that but anyway we will square it in the next step. So minus root b by root a into root y by root x whole square then this whole power 3 by 2 then whole divided by we have a second derivative which is b by 2 root a x root x then in the numerator we can square it so it is b y by a x after squaring then we have whole power 3 by 2 divided by b and this term we can make it as a product in the numerator this denominator term so this will become 2 root a x root x now we are going to take lcm and the lcm is a x and in the numerator we have a x plus b y whole power 3 by 2 can be taken separately for numerator and denominator and we have this b in the denominator which can be written it here and we have 2 root a and x and root x is x power 1 into x power half by combining it will become 3 by 2 because we add the power so this is x power 3 by 2 now we can again Simplify it as ax plus by whole power 3 by 2 2 root a x power 3 by 2 whole divided by b. This is a power 3 by 2 and x power 3 by 2. So we can cancel x power 3 by 2 and this is a power half. I can bring it to the denominator. So, the numerator we have 2 is a constant. Apart from that we have ax plus by whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by b. We have a power 3 by 2. When this comes down it will become minus 1 by 2 in the power of a. Because a power half when it comes down it is a power minus half and I am combining. So, this is 2 into ax plus by power 3 by 2 whole divided by b into a power 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 2 by 2 which is 1. So, finally we got the radius of curvature rho as 2 into 
ax plus by power 3 by 2 whole divided by ab. This is what given the question. Show that the radius of curvature is 2 into ax plus by whole power 3 by 2 by ab which we got it here. So finally we got the proof for the radius of curvature.